Well, hey folks and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. It's early fall here at my cabin. Temperature's starting to drop, especially at night time. Wind's starting to blow. You know how it goes. And it can get really cold here in my area. Uh, minus 20 degrees is not all that unusual here. And uh, we can also get heavy snow here at the cabin. It uh, hasn't been all that uh, bad for snow the last few years, but these cold temperatures are still uh, very uh, cold in wintertime. Now, I'm going to talk about a project that I do every year this time of year, which is to put a solarium uh, porch, uh, a solarium wrap around my porch using plastic. And I'm going to show you that project in a minute. But I wanted to just discuss, because I know some of you are, are uh, in the process of building or thinking about building your own off-grid cabins or even grid-tied cabins. One of the best projects that I can suggest for people that are building a cabin is a porch. And I would make it a four-season porch. My cabin has a four-season porch that is seven feet by 14 feet, runs the entire width of the front of my cabin. And it is situated so that it faces the south or southern uh, side of my cabin where the sun penetrates. Now, if you're down under in Australia, of course, you're going to have different sides you, that you're using. But for my house, and for most places, you want to put your porch on the south side. And a covered porch works in, for many different ways. In the summer, it provides shade. It will shade my front windows and my front door, the front side of the house, and that keeps the sun from penetrating in through my windows and overheating the cabin. So it reduces cooling costs. It also works as an outdoor room because I have my rocking chair out there and I go out and sit on my porch in the shade and uh, just hang out or watch my garden grow, okay? That's, that's one season. In the uh, late fall, like now, it's a nice place to hang out when, uh, and work on projects because it's sort of out of the rain and out of the wind without, uh, you know, th that sort of problem in, in uh, the fall. And then in the winter, as I will show you, I convert it to a solarium porch. And the solarium porch acts like an attached greenhouse. And, and it collects the heat from the sun, just like a greenhouse does. And then I can open my front door, or I can open a window if I want to. But I usually open my front door, and that heat that's inside that solarium porch, it just pours right into my cabin. And it makes a tremendous di difference in heating costs. It also acts as an airlock, so it blocks the wind. The wind that would normally blow in every time you open your front door, which is a really cold wind, the solarium porch blocks that, acts like an airlock, so it keeps that cold wind from rushing in. It also provides a really nice, warm place for working on projects in winter, and it can be used in springtime, here because it's cold, it's used in springtime to start my uh, vegetable plant for my gardening. So I can get almost a month or so head start on other people by starting plants uh, out in my, my solarium porch. Then after uh, it gets uh, spring starts to get over with and it gets warm enough, I just take the plastic off, roll it up, and save it for the next year. And it cost me, each year it cost me $15 for a roll of plastic, and I use the 4 mil plastic. I don't even get the really clear expensive stuff. I just get that kind of cloudy white 4 mil plastic, general plastic that I use. And then I use some cedar uh, fence boards that I've used over and over. I just use them and the screws over and over to attach that to my porch. So I'm going to take you outside. I'll show you how this solarium porch works and, uh, you know, the project that I've got going on outside on my porch. So let's go outside. Okay, so here we are on my porch. My porch, I said, is 7 feet wide and 14 feet long. goes across the entire front of the cabin here. And here's my front door to my cabin there. It has a screen door on it, and then it has a board down there to keep uh, uh, animals, critters, from trying to come in the cabin. So anyway, my door's open right now on the cabin because this solarium porch is covered with 4 mil plastic. And as you can see, the plastic goes all the way around. And it's just what I use the cedar fence boards, which I'll show you when I get to the outside there. And uh, I've got a, uh, a cheap door that I picked up. Uh, I don't even remember where I got this door. It's a PVC plastic door, like they use for screen doors. And I just used that. Uh, the screen fell out of it. And so I just covered that with plastic. And that's my door. And these do not have to be completely airtight. If you want to make them airtight, that's great. You can even use two layers of plastic on the inside. So you could put a second layer inside the plastic and that would even uh, create an air, a, uh, another air barrier 
like an insulation air barrier so that it would stay even warmer in here. But believe me, I do not need that in here. On a sunny day, on a winter day, even if it's uh, 40, 30, 40 degrees outside, it will be 80 to 85 degrees in here. That's how warm this gets in here. A lot of times it's almost too warm, and a lot of times I'll just open up this front door at, so that it doesn't get too hot in here, and then let the heat, see the heat will just rise, and then it just goes up through the door. And so that this heats the cabin up, and it will raise the temperature, for, uh, I've measured it, and it will raise the temperature up on average about 10 degrees from uh, the outside temperature, just using passive solar heat. Plastic cost me $15 a roll, and I'll show you what the plastic that I'm using. And then I've also got my workbench, I've got my tools, which I'll try to show you here. I've got, uh, you know, I keep my uh, summer tools that I don't want uh, to get ruined in the weather. I keep those in here. So I've got my weed eaters and I've got a metal detector over there and junk and stuff like that. But then this bench is my planting, my gardening bench. Okay, and I use this in the springtime. You can see I've got my planter, planter uh, flats down there and I've got some pots and stuff in here. And in springtime what I'll do is I'll fill those up with some soil and plant my seedlings and get them a head start. And I can get a month, almost a month and a half of, of uh, uh, speed faster growth on my seedlings and it costs cheaper and then I can transplant those out into my raised beds or if I'm doing flowers or something like that I can transplant flowers. Then I've also keep my uh, chicken feed and stuff in here keep it out of the weather because the chickens my chickens are free range so they will come to the door they know what time they get fed every morning and evening and they will come to the door and I just use a cup and throw some free feed out for them and then this is the the really important part this is my generator right here let me pull the cover off of this this is my Champion. Uh, it's a 1200 or 1500 watt Champion generator. And I swear by these. They are excellent generators. And I've had one ever since I moved here. They're the best generator that I've found that works. And I use this all the time. Because I run a microwave occasionally or I run a lot of power tools. And in wintertime, if you don't keep these warm, they're a bitch to start. Okay, and it will, you, it's actually really hard on them to start them up in wintertime. So what I found is by keeping it inside this enclosed uh, solarium porch, this thing will now start up on one or two pulls. Okay, and what I do, you don't want to run it inside your porch if it's all enclosed. I can tell you that now. What I do is I open up my, my door here, which I'll open up. I open up the door, and then I, this is on a uh, dolly with wheels on it. It's got wheels underneath it, and I just pull this around like this so that the... Uh, the exhaust that's on that end, the exhaust blows out the door. So there, I'm not getting carbon monoxide buildup. You don't want carbon monoxide buildup, especially not going into your cabin. So now I can run the generator, and then it's got a cord on it that goes into the house with a uh, power strip on it. And that runs my uh, microwave inside, and I can also run power tools outside if I want to run power tools or something out here. Because this is a really nice place when I work on, want to work on a project in wintertime but not be out in the snow. I can bring a project in here and work on it because i got all kinds of space. You can see this. Got all kinds of space here for working on a project. Now, the other thing that it does, it also, because you can see I use uh, propane. I, I refill my propane tanks. These are 20 uh, gallon or, uh, yeah, 20 gallon tanks. And I have my propane system set up so that I go down and get my propane tanks refilled. And then I keep them on the porch. And this keeps the snow and cold and ice from building up on my tanks. So I just bring them in here, set them down here. And then I have my uh, quick adapter over there that I just hook on when I need to change out tanks. And I usually, when I get down to one tank full, I usually go fill up four tanks. And that will last me over a month, sometimes two months of propane use. Okay, so that's another reason for having this solarium porch in here is it keeps all my propane tanks and all my gear and my generator all warmed up and then I also have my tool chest in here so I've got my tool chest really handy for working on projects and stuff like that now the other thing that this does and it's something to be aware of a solarium porch like a greenhouse uh, will collect the heat naturally but the heat is actually collected better if you have some thermal mass thermal mass is any object that will hold heat and stuff like this steel tool chest it holds heat and uh, so it as the sun comes in and warms up this space it also heats up objects like this and that is called thermal mass and then that thermal mass will slowly release that heat back at night okay so it helps to keep this inside here warmer if you have some thermal mass like a heavy steel object or water tanks or something like that inside your greenhouse you don't have to but it will keep it warmer longer at night if you use some type of thermal mass so that's how I use it, primarily keeping my generator warm, starting my plants in the springtime uh, to, to get extra heat uh, in here, into the cabin, 
and also for for keeping everything out of the snow and rain. So here's the uh, how it's attached. Walk around here, and I can tell you now, my place is not a home for better homes and gardens. Okay, my place is a is they make really fancy uh, solariums that they the rich people buy, and they are expensive. If you buy a solarium uh, or have one built on your house, they're expensive. But I don't need one all year long. I don't need one permanent. I just need one in the wintertime and springtime. So what I do is I use this four mil plastic and then you can see what I've done is I've just used cedar fence boards. I've got cedar fence boards that I use every year. Three inch cedar fence boards work the best. And then I just put three screws in them, one on each end, one in the middle front, top, and bottom, all the way around, and I don't even worry that it's got big wrinkles in it. If my neighbors want to complain about my place looking shitty, I'll just point back at there. Some of them got 30 old cars in their uh, <laughs> front yard, so nobody around here is going to complain too much about my place having some plastic on it in winter. Most of them understand what we're doing here anyway. So it goes all the way around, and I use the 25-foot length rolls, and they are 10 foot wide, which means it goes all the way down and has some extra to go over the edge of the porch. And that's really nice because my chickens like to go underneath the porch when it's cold. They'll go right underneath there and enjoy the heat without being on top of my porch. They'll go underneath the porch and they can hang out there and get really warm. Tazzy sometimes crawls underneath there too. So that's how it looks. And uh, cost me about 15 bucks for a roll of plastic every winter. And uh, I reuse the cedar boards and the screws, so that doesn't cost anything. And then uh, in the spring, I'll just roll it up, and I'll reuse it for the next year. Or if it's in really bad shape, I'll cut whatever good pieces are out, and I'll use that for other projects, like for my uh, raised beds, for a close cloth over my raised beds. Well, I always have projects that I need little pieces of plastic for. So it, it gets used up until it's completely no, no longer usable before it ends up going into the, the recycle bins downtown. So that is a solarium porch works very well to heat your house and also keep uh, the the uh, objects that you have on your porch uh, out of the snow and it also acts as an air block which is really important because it blocks that cold wind that comes in it blocks that cold wind with that second door so i don't have that rushing into the cabin it makes my cabin really cold all right folks i hope you enjoyed this video as always go by my website simplesolarhomesteading.com I, I have uh, new cabin plans on there always working on new plans and things like that. I have several new videos up, so I hope you will subscribe and go watch my other videos. Thanks and have a great day, everybody.